Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hallelujah. I've got a story to tell you. <laughs> it's about Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. And there's wonderful stories in the Bible. I've got one today. And I'm talking about the prophet's reward. Woo. And so what happens is when you do as the prophet tells you, that's how the, the blessings come. So the important thing I want you to know is only this morning, just before I come, uh, I saw what it was like to be in heaven, that it was on earth. And I was listening to Andre Rieu in Masterick, and he, they were playing, or he was playing, uh, the Vienna Waltz. And I saw everybody swaying to the music, all happy and all enjoying the time. So that's what it's going to be like in heaven, I can tell you now. It's going to be wonderful. And this time that we have on earth is a time of preparation. It's a time when we can put our house in order. And so, and that's why I'm teaching you on this message today. And what a prophet is, a prophet is one who receives instructions from God. And what he receives, it has to pass the test of truth. Otherwise, they call them false prophets. And today I'm talking about Elijah. And how in Israel, he prophesied a drought that was coming. And in 1 Kings 17.1, it says that Elijah went to Kirith, ravine east of the Jordan. This is when the, the um, famine started or the drought started and there there was a brook and that's where he drank from. And the, and the ravens fed him morning and night because God told him to do it and that's what he did. And for, after a while, the Lord spoke to him because what happened, the rain, uh, the brook dried up because it hadn't rained and then what happened is the Lord told him to go to Zarephath and said that there was a widow there who would feed him. So away he went, he found the widow and this is what he said. Well, what the Lord told him that he'd commanded the widow to supply him with food. And so what he did when Elijah met the widow, he asked her for water and a piece of bread. And she was going home to make a last meal. She had no more food left after this one meal for her and her son. And she had resigned herself to die. But Elijah said, do not be afraid. The Lord says the jar of flour will not be used up and the jug of oil will not run dry until the day the Lord gives rain on the land. And so she went away and did as Elijah t told her. Now what I'm saying here is that very last words I said is how you receive the prophet's reward. So if you do what the prophet says, then comes prosperity. And so through this obedience there was no lack and her dead son was raised from the grave. He died and Elijah raised it to life. Now, the parallel with this story is Jesus. Because Jesus, he's regarded as a, a, the, the major prophet because uh, of what he's, he's, the things he prophesied that come to pass. And so, what Jesus said, he says, I have come to give you life and life more abundantly. And also he said in John 3, 16, I have... He said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whomsoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And so the important thing is to obey the commands given by a prophet. And so how many people uh, w wander around not knowing what's going on because they fail to 
to take notice of the prophet. Now today, I'm going to tell you that there's a time very soon when Jesus is coming for his church. And when he comes, there's a, it begins a seven year period of tribulation, a time on earth. The purpose of this tribulation, God allows it to happen, is to bring people to repentance. Because when people are under pressure, they actually then cry out to God. So this is the purpose of the tribulation, but it's a gradual thing. It's it broken into, uh, the seven years is broken into two, three and a half year periods. And the first part, you know, they call it the beginning of sorrows. And the second half is called the great tribulation. So in that first uh, half is when a great number of people come to Jesus because They've seen the church disappear. They've been taken up to be with Jesus. They know, the whole world knows. And so everybody is scrambling, those that have got a mind for God, they're scrambling so that they don't miss out. And so there's a great harvest comes in, but those that are left of the second half of the tribulation, it's a sad thing because it's a time of great dearth on earth. And so what it is, is the Bible says that if the time wasn't cut short, nobody would survive it and so don't hang around do something about it today because we that's what our job is we're here to help you yeah. and so and and uh, god loves you yeah and all he wants you to do is turn away from your wicked ways hallelujah and turn to the lord himself and so do this and you'll receive a blessing not only a prophet's reward but you'll receive eternal life. So God bless you. Thank you.